Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's actually late in the day and um, after hours I'm trying to get uh, this fab table built up. Uh, I know I showed you this a long time ago for the guys that follow the videos you probably remember seeing this big plate come in. The sun's kind of bright. It's 40 inches wide, 14 feet long, and the holes, you can put all kinds of clamps and jigs and all kinds of things in them. Uh, I'm just trying to get this built. Uh, it's upside down right now. I'm going to put the sides in. The sides also have holes in it so you could uh, jig parts up from the side. Uh, I'm going to get a welder in here and, and tack it all together. And there'll be a whole grid work of uh, steel going both ways, uh, long ways, sideways. Uh, so there's a lot of welding to do on this. Um, I'm trying to get this finished up. Uh, I've got that frame that I still want to build for the uh, Cummins powered Jeep. And that's right here. There's the rails. I haven't done anything with them. Again, if you follow along, you remember the rear bumper I built. Um, but I want to get this frame built and I actually have two more to build so that's why I'm trying to get this table to, this is what I'm going to jig everything off of and make it everything nice and uh, square and everything uh, I'm just finishing up the electrical in here uh, there's the panel uh, I have the saw running now I have a plug for the plasma cutter I have the big sander running the other band saw down the end is running. I've got outlets in here. Um, I got some three phase outlets for the uh, welder. And I just put my bulbs in today. Just got the lights finished up. Uh, LEDs. So, um, if anybody's interested in seeing this kind of stuff, uh, you want to see the table go together, uh, let me know. And, uh, and I can show it. Um, <clears throat> uh, there's a lot of companies that make tables like these, but as usual, um, nobody made the size or the dimensions that I wanted. And if I put together a bunch of smaller tables, it would probably wind up costing me $10,000 by the time I was done because the tables are so expensive. There's a lot of labor putting these together, uh, making them perfectly flat. Um, but uh, this is the size I wanted and uh, it'll be perfect for building frames and uh, I can show it or not you know and just move on to other things um, I'm not sure exactly what guys are wanting to see I know I got a regular group of guys that always watch the video but uh, not getting many new subscribers or um, videos just aren't doing what they used to do so anything you want to see let me know or um, if this kind of stuff interests you, uh, welding, fabricating, building frames, uh, let me know and I can show you that stuff or uh, move on to some other things. Okay guys, uh, trying to get stuff done but a truck just showed up with a uh, SGI body tub. Uh, I know a lot of guys I have been interested in these uh, we're gonna do an unboxing and uh, inspection I ordered this one with no primer on it so we can get a good look at the sheet metal work um, it's getting kind of late now and we'll probably open this one up tomorrow and and get everything out of the crate and stuff um, but it did make it here safely and uh, this is a CJ3A I got for Tom's project and like I said I didn't want any primer on it and they're, they'll work with you so uh, I got this with no primer and we'll see what it looks like when we open it up tomorrow but for now I'm going to try and get it under cover for tonight uh, before it gets too dark out and uh, we'll take a peek in there tomorrow okay just one more day hang in there and we will open that up and dissect it and see what's good and bad and uh, hopefully everything's gonna be good from the what I've been seeing of it and uh, we'll go over it tomorrow 
so uh, this got a little bit shorter and a little bit more messed up than I thought it was gonna because too much stuff going on today but uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you on the next one